your mama bean Ellie, and welcome back for some more PSA rants. I am your host, Ellie Stitches, and yes, as you can tell, I'm using, once again, Bjorn and Jason as my background. So about a few days ago, I did a little rant about Tofia Chu and how much of a delusional woman she really is. So I'm gonna give her a little break. Maybe I will do another video if she ever calls me out because she does call out anybody and doesn't want to admit it. I also put out a community poll on who else I can talk about and I just thought of three people that I can rant about and talk to you, Beans, about not becoming these types of people. It appears Big Ed won. To any of you Beans who don't know who Big Ed is, let me give a very small summary on who he really is, okay Beans? And then we'll talk about him on why you should never be like Big Ed. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. Mm. I mean You're it. You're so sweet. So who is Big Ed? Well, he starred in a reality TV show called 90 Day Fiancés, and he is one of the components, you know, trying to find love and a woman to be with for 90 days to see if they can get married or not. To be honest, I was never a big fan of this show because 90 days, mm, I don't know, sometimes there's no love or connection between the people, and usually they go international on finding love from other countries. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can find love from different countries. I mean, love is love no matter what. However, Big Ed is known to be very infamous for 90 Day Fiancé. You want to know why? Let's start off on his first appearance in 90 Day Fiancé that he was about to get engaged with a woman from the Philippines named Rose. However, there is something strange about the two. You see... Big Ed was 54 years old back in 2019. And guess how old Rose is? She is 23. What? What the fuck? Yeah, quite an age gap right there. However, throughout the episodes with Big Ed and Rose, we get to learn more about Big Ed and let's just say... There was a ton of red flags about him. Fellas in the back, um, my fellow uh, gentle beans, um, I'm going to teach you how not to be a total um, D-bag to a girl that you're trying to impress or want to marry or be engaged or be with. Feel free to take notes or write down on your phone because it's very important. The first one is don't lie to your partner because what Big Ed was doing back then on the first episode with Big Ed and Rose, they were in a long-distance relationship from the Americas, from the Philippines. What he did was that he catfished Rose. Well, I wouldn't say catfish. He mainly just lied to her by saying, Oh, I'm actually not 5 foot 3, I'm actually 4 foot 11. I've been keeping a few things from Rose, and is my height. I'm 4'11", not 5'2". Yeah, fellas, don't lie a woman about your height because... <laughs> I mean, no hate on the short guys. I think you all deserve some love too. It's just, be honest. That's all. Just be honest. Oh, but there's more. There's another thing that he's keeping from Rose. Are you ready for it, Beans? There's another thing, and that is, I don't want any more kids. I want to get a vasectomy, but I don't want to tell her. So the plan for all of this for the relationship was Rose wants to have another baby because currently she has a baby boy named Prince. However, Big Ed wants to get a visectomy just so he doesn't want any more kids. What's even more effed up is that he kept this from her and he's planning to get it without telling her. And throughout the entire show, after telling her that he had a visectomy, she was heartbroken. She was crying. Like, how can you not tell me that, Big Ed? I wanted another baby. So last night, remember, you, you're talking about you wanted more kids. And I want to be honest with you and tell you that having more kids is not something that I want. In fact, before I came to see you in the Philippines, I had scheduled two appointments to have an operation. It prevents me from 
getting you pregnant. Why you not tell me last night? I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not just that, Beans. He also made her cry as well. So during the, the show, you know, they got to meet each other, and yeah, she was a little disappointed about the height differences, and oh my god. This just made me hate Big Ed. Um, so Big Ed thinks, fellas, please, just don't think this on a girl. Big Ed thinks, like, he wants to get to know more about Rose and her past relationships. Because, you know, she had a, a little boy, and he wants to know about her past relationships, and wants to get an STD test. An STD test from her to see if she does not have any sexually transmitted diseases. To be honest, to me, that is the most f***ed up thing Big Ed has ever done. If I was going to get married to someone who has had a past relationships, I don't want to know. Like, it doesn't matter. The past is the past. It's about the future. Keep moving forward. But Big Ed just wants to know about her and make sure that she's not sleeping around. Guys, just never say that to a girl or even think that she is sleeping around because Rose is actually a very sweet woman. She wants to focus on the future, but Big Ed just ignores that. Seriously, guys, please, just don't, you don't want to do that. So there's a test that you can take. Yeah. You test me? No, yeah, a te it's, a, it's a test for, um, for, um, it, it, I don't know if you understand it, it's um, STD, which is, um, I think it's a blood test, and they just test to see, um, if you have um like sexually transmitted disease so that so i was asking if you're willing to take that test i'll never ask you a, a, an, another question about your past i'm yeah. disappointed once again guys don't do that okay because you will make a girl cry so moving on with the other red flags is he's also very shallow you see, Big Ed was living in California, which all the beautiful people are living in California. He lives on society's beauty standards. He likes women that are beautiful, luscious, thick, curvy, and hairless. Seriously, if he, if he ever sees like one little pinch of hair on your leg, like a little bit of his leg hair, he's turned off. So at a hotel Big Ed and Rose were staying at, um... Let's just say the, uh... <laughs> and Big Ed said something about Rose's legs, saying that they were hairy. And he made her shave her own legs. Yeah. He made her shave her own legs. You wanna know why? Because it's gross. Ed, you know women can be hairy too. Same as, same goes to men. We women, we do like to shave, or sometimes there's some of us that likes to leave our hair growing, because, you know, it's natural. Women's hair on the arms, the legs, the pits, the stomach, even the face, too. Women can have mustaches, too. It's natural. He just made her feel so insecure about herself. Seriously, guys, don't make a girl feel insecure, because we women are very emotional and can get really insecure, especially of our bodies, or what we have in our bodies. Please, just don't ever do that, okay? Um, don't be mad at me, but, um, last night when I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine, <laughs> they were hairy. What? Yeah. So it, yeah, I don't, I don't like leg hair. It's gross. Look, I know all guys are not like that. I guess some that do like leg hair, some that don't. I mean, we all have a difference, but something like that just doesn't feel right. It's like commanding her to wear makeup or commanding her to dress in this way. It just sounds a little forced right there, or in my opinion, it just doesn't feel right. 
throughout the show, their relationship did not last long because Big Ed was being extremely shallow with Rose, her family, and the place where she was living at in the Philippines. And now Big Ed appeared in 90 Day, um, The Single Life? I think so. But yeah, he was uh, eyeing on another woman who was also younger. <laughs> in fact, she was like 29, but that's still young. Her name was Liz, and yeah, her and Ed had a bunch of beef together. Like, I feel like their relationship felt very forced, really toxic, and not really romantic in a way. There would be a few times Big Ed would try to force himself onto her, like kissing her on the first date or making sure she's not talking to other guys because he wants to claim her. Guys, don't ever think like that as well. Like, don't think like all women are the same thing. Like, don't be an incel, okay? I'm not trying to call you all out. It's just, just don't be like Big Ed. Don't think all women, like, just because some women have guy friends does not mean they're cheating on you. Heck, I have guy friends, and I see them as the brothers that I have never had in my life. Some of them I knew since high school or when I was a young adult, but still, they were like my brothers. And Papa Bean is fine with it because he trusts me. He knows that I would never cheat on him and hurt him because he is the only man that I would ever fall in love with. Every time when I say, like, I'm in love all over again whenever I see him. Anyways, ba back to the topic. But Big Ed, he's somewhat acts like an incel. Whenever he thinks like Liz is hanging out with some guy friends, like coworkers, you know, like, he just thinks like, I'll never find love again. What is true love? I don't think I deserve to be loved again. I think Liz is cheating on me with this guy. Dude, I bet she knew this guy forever before she met you. They're probably just friends looking out for one another. It's okay for the opposite sex to befriend. Sure, it can be a little impossible, but some that could actually work. And you want to know what's funny? Back then, they were not really, like, a thing back then. He just doesn't want anyone else to claim her. Yeah, they were just still going on dates and never, like, committed. <laughs> Again, this man is completely delusional with love. He kind of represents the seven deadly sins, lust. To most of you know, lust is when a person seeks sex for pleasure. He or she is sinning with lust. Because what's really in his mind isn't not just love, but hooking up as well. Now, to any of you that's saying, maybe he doesn't represent lust. But to me, in my opinion, I think he is. And that's all that he talks about. Because there will be multiple times where, in his videos, like his own videos on YouTube, yeah, he has a YouTube channel, he would always talk about, on in one of his mukbang videos, how much he loves Asian women. Because they're so beautiful, they age like a bottle of wine. I am not joking, he actually did say that in one of his mukbangs. Women, Asian women, Asian women, Asian women are a good thing. Love Asian women. But yeah, I think love and pleasure is really in his mind, and he needs to do something besides that. Guys, if you ever fall in love, what do you really think about when you see a woman that you are attracted to? It's okay if you want to be completely honest, no one is going to shame you. And that is actually the key to in a relationship, is being honest. Just don't hide anything. Don't try to lie about yourself. Just be honest about yourself and be who you are. If you're trying to impress a girl, I don't know, show what you're good at. What are your hobbies or what are your interests? Maybe the chick will dig it too and maybe have the same interest. Or maybe they'll be intrigued of what you're into. But yes, if you're ever looking for love advice, don't take it from Big Ed. Because he is not love material. He's not husband material and... He's just none of that material. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he's also a cheater. Back when he was married back in the 80s, yeah, he cheated on his first wife. So yeah, don't take any love advice from him because cheaters don't give good love advice. Just saying. <laughs>
I would suggest talking with your parents or a close friend that experienced it and knows what to do. However, how is Big Ed right now? Well, out of all the breakups he's done with Liz, um, he's actually engaged with an unexpected woman that we don't know much about. Yeah, seriously, Ed is so desperate just to get married and just... Even the proposal just seems so fake, like there was a guy that keeps shouting and saying, Oh my god, they got engaged! Oh my god, Big Ed proposed! Like, it's so annoying, like, this is staged. Big Ed, come on. I know you're not getting any younger, but uh, but hopefully this time this woman is around your age and not about 20 or 30 years younger than you. I guess the last advice for you all, don't date anyone that's younger than you because I think it'll be a little tricky and a little impossible to impress someone who's a lot younger than you. I think a two and three year age gap is okay, but I think four or more just seems too much. I guess 50 or 20 is the biggest. <laughs> Anyways, that was my PSA rant about Big Ed. I hope you beans actually learned from this, and I hope you fellas also learned from this as well. If there's anyone else that I would like to do uh, another PSA rant on, comment down below who I can do, and maybe I can do a little bit of research and speak my own opinions. You know, something a little different for this channel. If you really like this, um, like this video, comment down below your opinions and any other requests, and subscribe for some more of my rants, ASMRs, and creepypasta narrations. Have a wonderful day, little ones. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and try to stay warm. Goodbye for now.